Welcome to tutorial number three, uh, the Octar test prep group. This one involves um, generating the scale of vehicles on the grid uh, marked out by the squares, uh, but I won't go as far as cutting them out just yet. So the first step was get the, um, the pertinent information. It's either going to be supplied in the narrative uh, in your test problem or along with your test problem you should be given overall dimensions of the vehicles, um, some combination of front axle weight, rear axle weight, total weight, or enough to figure out those three things, um, and a measure of front overhang, rear overhang, or maybe um, an expert auto stats light printout, something along those lines, but enough to get that information all in, in one place. Uh, next I used um, the CG location template that's posted in our files section. Um, filled in the blanks on that and that allowed me to locate the center of gravity distance from the front of the vehicle or the rear of the vehicle depending on um, which is less mangled or uh, maybe it won't make a difference on your test problem but one of those sheets for each of the vehicles involved. Next step is to take that information and plot it to scale on the uh, the grid. Now, what I did in uh, in this case, this is the 2000 F-150. I used an extra fine um, Sharpie marker. Everything I um, measure from one end of the vehicle, so I take all my measurements from the the front of the vehicle, measure to where the front axle goes, measure to where the center of gravity goes measured to where the rear axle goes and measured, you know, last step uh, to where the, the back end of the vehicle is. So at least that way you don't get cumulative errors measuring from the front of the vehicle, from the back of the vehicle. Keep all your measurements from one end of the vehicle and then go from there. Uh, do the same thing for the other vehicle. In this case it's a, a 2004 Mitsubishi Galant. Again, front axle measurement from the front of the vehicle, the center of gravity from the front of the vehicle, the rear axle from the front of the vehicle, and the overall length. Uh, mark out the overall width and take that shape and mark it on your grid. Now the last thing I'm going to do with the grid um, before I actually lift it from the diagram is to trace down my um, X and Y coordinate axes lines because uh, we do have the, the zero zero point marked. So I'm going to trace that line down and I'm going to make a, um, a hole in my diagram at exactly the the y-axis, the, the furthest point on my y-axis. I'm going to punch a hole there on my diagram. Uh, same thing on the, the x-axis. I'm going to to punch a hole there out near the edge of my paper. And the reason I'm doing that is so once I lift my my, di my uh, grid from the diagram, at least I'll have the zero zero point marked and some means of transferring my coordinate axes um, so I can draw north lines or east lines or, or whatever just for reference purposes. Okay, that's it for now. Next step is going to be to actually cut the vehicles out and locate them um, on the diagram in their final rest positions and that'll be the beginning of tutorial number four. Thanks a lot.